Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pikmin 4. I kind of started us off in the middle of the action in Medius Res. And if you like that, if you could like the video, comment, and subscribe. We're nearly at the end of the day. Didn't really plan this out super well, so you know, we're just we're just doing it. Doing it for the kids. We got a little bit of an interaction. Dandori style last time. At the very least, we can grab this. Doodly do. Conveniently. Do we have enough pigment for this? We do! Okay. So we're just gonna grab this. My main conflict is trying to figure out how to pace these days yet. I have not. I was gonna say decided, but. I think the real crux is I just don't know how to I don't know what I'm doing, so there's that. Oh interesting. Wonder what would happen if we used 20 ice Pikmin. But first treasure. Big boy. Oh yeah. I actually don't know what'll happen if I do that, so I'm curious. As per usual, just get all of our ice pigment out. I probably should have saved one of the caves for the beginning of this episode to draw the day. I think I'm going to do that from now on. It's kind of what I did in Pikmin 2 where I would have the full day and then I would boot scoot goof it near the end. And that would, because it does kind of pause the episode, unfortunately. Can I throw ice pick over here? Ooh, wait. I still have more I can throw. Oh. I don't know if you're supposed to do it this way. And I don't remember how I did it the original way when I first played. I have to guess that it was exceptionally more complicated than just doing it this way. Please don't run into that fire blow hog. Please don't run into that fire blow hog. Please don't run into that fire blow hog. Okay, great. <laughs> Bearing a red. Oh, they're having trouble. Oh, I think the water needs to be frozen. Uh... Well, that's annoying. Wait a second, though. I'm curious. How do I disband all of you? Can we do that? What's the disband button? What's the disband button? Okay, it's right. Okay, well, ice pick on her fine. Um, they can swim. But I need 30 to freeze the moat and 20 to carry the bulb. Which would almost certainly mean that I can't do it yet. I would need an additional Flarlek to make this happen. Can I do this? Can my homeboys do this? No? Okay. So the game is essentially stonewalling me right now requiring me to use a certain new type of Pikmin. I don't think blue Pikmin can get these either. Nope, of course not. And that's, that is what this said, right? It did say 30. Yeah, that's dumb. Pretty heckin' limited then. Because I only have 10 and I need to... Did it say I needed 20 to carry the... Well, I have... My goldfish memory is absolutely kicking in hard today. Oh no! <laughs> Oh no, Ochi, I forgot about this. Ochi can't swim. He'll be fine. I mean, he won't be fine, but, you know. Oh, and I can't throw the Pikmin from here either. Oh, what a pain in the butt. It's like, Ochi can't swim, and then Ochi's just fine. I guess. Let me see what happens here. 
Let me get my full complement of 30. Alright. That's so funny. I'm sorry, Ochi. Are you getting there? I don't know how many it said I needed. Oh, it is 20. Okay, so 20 is confirmed. Ooh, that's a pain in the butt. So I'm not getting that today. It appears we need to do a little more investigationing. I don't know if there's anything else I can do. Oh, there's another cave here. Oh, wait. Can I make it to that in time? Where is that? Hold on. Up the box and around the corner. To grandmother's house we go? I would love to make it to that in time. Yes! Viewers! This will be the episode! Didn't I do this? The crackling cauldron. I feel hotter than usual. So hot. And when I looked down, the ground was on fire. It panicked. But a red Pikmin just gave me a sidelong glance. Totally in phase, even as the fire licked. Okay. Clearly capable of more than... Yeah, you know what? This is very convenient. Oh, come on! Really? That's the whole point of this, though. Because I'm in the red zone? That's a bunch of BS. A bunch of hocus pocus. Bogus. I didn't know that. If I knew that, I would have done this. Oh, and there's... Oh, no! No, no! Stop it! No, stop! Quit! No, I got one of my ice pigment eaten. <laughs> Okay, this is horrible. Stop it. Everything is going according to plan, viewers. It's fine. Yeah, that was a nightmare. Oops. Didn't paste that one out very well. I'm sorry. But we did get the pumpkin. We are the pumpkin king. The pumpkin. Related to October in the US and A. Maybe other places too, but the jack-o'-lantern in the best month of all. All right, here we go. Our results. Got two more castaways, a.k.a. two plus puff drive. Oh. So that's a good point. They don't have helmets on, and they're still alive. So these Muppets have special powers. A little bit of sparkly on them. 150 for the pumpkin, the mysterious carriage. I love that. And I lost an ice Pikmin because I am dumb. Oops. My bad. Yeah. So apparently we do have a team doctor, but we don't know where they are. Probably out there putzing around, of course. Now... I do want to stick with where we are, but I don't know if we're going to get another Flarlek to be able to expand our team. We need to at least have one, which I feel might be easier to find in the new area. Just a guess. Oh, get used to this cutscene. You'll see it every time. He just snoozing. He just having a little... They have magic powers. Filled with goo. Copy that. I do love the synergy of our outfits. It's called teamwork. Darker, darker. That's right. Okay. Very nice. It appears Russ might have some new things for us. Let's visit the lab. This is always kind of exciting when you get to see when new items are around. The survey drone. This is actually great. The treasure gauge. Let's see what's nearby. It's kind of more of a Pikmin 2 item. The headlamp. Gives you a little bit more line of sight in caves. The scorch guard. For us and for Ochi. Um, I don't want to get too... 
purchasey. Just because we still have quite a bit of stuff that we need to get overworld wise. And here is some of the new items. So the scrummy bone, something that helps Ochi. This will essentially, this is a revive. This is an item to distract some of the enemies. And then the ice blast is basically ice Pikmin in item form. Cool, cool. And we should be able to upgrade Ochi now that we have four. I held off. Hi. Hi. That's right. All right, what do I want? Power up. Oh, I do like the rush attack a lot. Ooh, but I also really enjoy this. Yep, we're doing this. The go here thing is, is super OP. Getting the ability to have Ochi. Yeah, you're definitely going to want to prioritize these. It's just The commands expanding are going to make your life a lot easier. And you know what? We have one left, so I might as well do this. Ochi is a good boy. You get two scrum of bones. No slacking. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I wasn't going to do this, but... We will go here just because... I want to get more of Larla. I say that without knowing if it's even there. I have no idea. I don't remember. I mean, it is there. I can say that confidently in the sense that every new area obviously has some. I'm not sure how many are per, but we already found one. So every area at least probably has one Flarlock that you will be able to get or else this game would be impossible to finish. Although you probably can do low Pikmin runs, but you know who's not doing that? Me. Now I gotta remember what this area is. Because I don't. This one, if I remember, is a little aquatic. It's all coming back now. Yeah, this one, this one's pretty good. I'm going to try to avoid going into caves unplanned. I think that's what draws episodes out. And I don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to be more mindful. See what the game tells us to do. Yellow and ice. Okay. The possibility just got a lot cooler. You're super cool. It's always a little telling when you have the game predetermine you a certain amount. Are these like little baby uh, whatever's? Ah, <laughs> now you're dead. Killing some babies. Killing some babies. There we go. Why not? And like I mentioned before, whenever you grab a different type of onion, the game will propagate the pellet posies around the area with that Pikmin. So currently, we will be able to have yellow and red. We don't have we don't have the ability to do any more than that, unfortunately. Got some raw materials. Love that for us. And whoop, there you go. It's all about that Dandori, folks. Whoa, leaf bug. Oh, looks like mysterious thing and dog ready for us. Gonna investigate this. Hopefully this is not... I shouldn't be using my ice pigment for this. But that's okay. As mentioned before, these little termite mounds will almost certainly be raw materials or items. I don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. I mean, I'm trying to present this as if you've never played any Pikmin before. Obviously, I know you're all pros, so don't get it wrong. Can build a little bridge over troubled water here, though. And those, well, this, this, this takes all of our Pikmin or just a poorly timed Ochi. And a boop. Okay. And a boop. Oh, 
And boop. And we will punch this bug. Yeah, punching some bugs. I don't really know. Didn't really benefit us in any remarkable way. That's okay. But yeah, we can use our raw materials to turn into pieces of clay and build structures. And then your Pikmin will kindly wait for you on the other side. Love that for us. And then we do have the option to move the base. We're gonna drop the base in your face. Are we missing one? Are you, <laughs> okay. He's the late bloomer, that's okay. You can see in the water there, we got some Wally Wogs. I think that's still the name of them, barring that being a little bit of a, a little controversial. There we go, base moved. The misshapen pond. That's what I refer to my body type as. Okay, break through this, Let's see what we get. Whoops, didn't mean to do that, oh no. These are these mites. These are in Pikmin. Oh, these are annoying, they're unflowering my Pikmin. They do go away eventually. And yield a raw material? Okay, that's weird. Now I know I did see, we got a creeping chrysanthemum over here, I saw it. Show yourself. Ooh, it's a frog, Never mind. Can I freeze these boys? Yeah, these are annoying. These are this game's kind of version of that. I'm gonna sneak up on you. Nope, not today. Oops. Okay, I guess I have to throw them. Whoa. Not a fan of this boy. But everything is made better once you freeze it. Oh, he's strong. Whoa! No! Oof, that was not great. Oh wait, he just took yellows. Yellows are fine. I'm fine with sacrificing my yellows. I don't care about yellows. For all you yellow fans out there, I'm so sorry. Did he get any? Oh, he's, he's doing some damages. He didn't even give me anything. What a beehole. That's okay. We only lost a couple. You can't make an omelet without a few cracked eggs or something, however that phrase goes. Viewers? Dirt Mount Excavation. Ooh, there's a treasure in there. All aboard. I would like to get into the upper area. I'm not sure how to do that yet. So we will continue to explore. One of the things you will notice that is really nice is that having Ochi around kind of feels like almost like a security blanket. You will feel much more safer. Can these be? Ah, okay. So once we eventually build this bridge, it's more of a ladder, I guess. Once that has been achieved, then we can climb up there. How many of my Pikmin did I lose? I didn't really need Ice Pikmin. I probably should swap them out. I'm being a bit of a goofus here. Yeah, I'm not really using these guys for anything important. Should probably just use reds at this adventuring phase. We don't have any electric gates. I don't know why it suggested that game. What are you trying to get me in trouble for? You buttholes. You're making me have a potty mouth. No, it's okay. We'll let these boys do their work. They were already in the middle of it anyway. You can kill these butterflies? Oh, you get, oh. See, there are butterflies in uh, in the other game that hang around with the Mamudas. And if you do attack them, you could get spicy spray, bitter spray, etc. All right, so Ochi cannot go up here. There is a new enemy up there as well. I don't remember that enemy's weakness. So, nope. Come with me and you'll see. Come on, reds, thank you. I don't know what this guy does. It's a type of, oh no, 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 no. Man, that was super not chill. 
There's a treasure in there. Oh, is this? Yeah, oh, this is why I use reds. Oh, what a disaster. Probably should have used some ice pikmin in that moment. You live and learn. If you, oh, there's another one of those caves. Not gonna do that. And there is a. Ooh, this is a new, a new kind of wall set up. We've seen the electric gate before, but who's ready to get a little frosty? Yeah, I'm not really playing my most best right now. Apologies. We'll send the ice pikmin there to start chomping at the bit. That's not what that phrase means. Great. But we have reached a new layer layer level of sparkling. I presume this is why the game was telling me to use Ice Pikmin. But it looks like we did almost successfully bring back the amount of reds we lost. The game is very generous when it comes to... to repopulating your Pikmin. I mean, we all knew that, but... just because I feel bad for the reds. Let our homeboys make some noise here. Sorry, fellas. Didn't mean to get y'all murdered by that weird... Sucker boy. Mark Zuckerberg. Alright. I wish we had pluck a phone, though. That would make it easy. So they did say, though, that that... Gate on the other end... Has been demolished. Ooh! And, of course, you do get... Some raw materials for doing that. It makes me curious, though. Uh, can we change the shortcut settings? Ooh. Survey drone, you have that now, so we can look around. Go here, go to, ooh, yes. So this basically gives you the option to, um, to move around a little bit and to send Ochi on ahead or back to where you started if you are more interested in that. Oh, you guys missed one. Hello. These are the ice pikmin that were tearing that wall down, if you remember. Alright, so that's probably going to murder me. Whatever that is. Don't love that. I'm actually curious. Who isn't curious a little bit about murder? This is my pikmin true crime here. Alright, so let's just use the reds. Because they are expendable. I know, just one. I mean, this has got to be one of those frog things, right? I don't remember. I'm tempted to send all of them. Oh, it's a cave. Okay. Crisis averted. Viewers. Nothing ever goes wrong in these episodes on this channel, ever. Ooh, there's more raw materials here. I'm trying to think of where our base is. Because we could very much open this up right now. Oh, we got a brand new item. For those of you that are new to the series, that is a bomb rock. Okay, I'll use my ice pikmin to murder the heck out of you. See ya. I'm gonna kill you. We're right in front of your twin. All right, and then we can grab these raw materials. The yeah, ice pikmin are great. Once you fill up that frozen bar, they are just donezo. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. My Dandorian today is much improved. Would have really enjoyed having Ochi here to help, but I don't know. Oops, how do I do the controls? There we go. Can Ochi make his way around town? Oh, he can. He's here to help. Okay, great. And we get raw materials again. If you remember. Oh <laughs> yeah, Ochi has a Ochi has a whistle too. I think that's really funny. Um, Ochi can essentially act as a second captain, which is great. You know, unlike Pikmin Pikmin 4 3 3. Um, where you could switch between the three of three captains intermittently you can't 
do that now, obviously, because we don't have them. But we do have Ochi, who is like a secondary captain, which I love. Now we do have the ability... Yeah, going without putting in a cave definitely speeds the day up. I'm going to go without a cave in this episode in particular just because I did a lot of it last time. I'm going to put away all my reds. And put away all my ice. Do I still have three reds out there? Oh yeah, they're carrying the, the ring pop. Once you pop, you can't. That's Pringles. Okay, hurry up. Today, let's go. LFG, let's go. Okay. There is a classic Pikmin enemy from Pikmin... Uh, we don't have very many yellows. We can probably grow those as well. Classic Pikmin enemy from Pikmin 2, I think, is when it was introduced. Just around the way here, I thought. My sense of direction is boo. Yeah, that's another thing. That hasn't changed. It's up this way. I hope. There he is. How do I get to you? I wish I could quit you. I don't know how I get up there. Oh, there. Th I was thinking of this one, not the other one. This is one of these electric boys. Easy pickings for the yellow Pikmin. Carry his corpse and the raw materials. And we'll take this one too. Hopefully this is innocuous. Oh, Flint Beetle. Remember these, if we land on them, we can normally get, uh, usually it's like nectar or in this case, uh, pellets. I'm gonna gather this five pellet. I know, game, thanks. We don't have very many yellows, because we just got them an episode ago, two episodes ago. What is this? Why is this glowing? Oh, that's, oh, that's a thing. <laughs> Good words. It's a thing. I do believe that is a treasure. We are running out of time, though. We will follow this. Follow this back. And once again... Once they make it within the confines of the safety circle, everything is good, although... I should have moved the base back. It's fine. Everything is fine. What are you doing? We got homeboy here being accosted by Leaf Bug. No, this is me making up for splitting these episodes up. It's tough timing-wise because the... The caves slow down the time. There we go. Almost got the full 40. Not quite. Can we pluck against the clock? No. Get some of them. And we got three or four left. That's not bad. We'll take it. Ochi looking very yellow. <laughs> The golden hour. Yeah, that was much better. Starting over in this new area. I don't know how I feel about this one. This one is a little bit... It's still kind of tutorial-ish. I remember the caves in this area being pretty good, though. The overworld's not very exciting, but... Yeah, the caves are pretty heckin' good. But this speeds up getting us back in line with episodes aligning with the day that we've done so far, not quite. We're definitely gonna fall behind. Episodes are going to creep up more than the days. It's just given. Okay, so no rescues. But we did get quite a few treasures today. We're on to the next level of sparkling. 2% progress, not bad. We did lose a ton of reds. I thought I lost way more ice, but we did not, so. Not great, but not horrible. Hello? By the way, Bingus. Oh, thanks. We're Hello? learning. Hello? Yeah, we're not using that rescue journal. That's dumb. I'm all the advice you need, viewers. Hi. Yeah, 
I mean, disband is already one of those things. Because we're smart. Okay, not bad. It's another day in the books. Bingus just gets pooped out of the ship. Just absolutely farted right out of the side of the... Whatever the ship is called. Okay. A new invent. Ooh, let's check this out real quick. See what Russ made. A prototype. Yeah, anytime there's a new item, Russ will give you... A sample, what is the brace boots? It's convenient, but we don't really have a lot of raw materials yet to take advantage of that. So we'll hold off. Thanks for the idea, buddy, but we don't really have, we don't really have the resources, but that's pretty much all that we're gonna do today. Still gonna, I'm still gonna probably head back into the second area again, just because I want to get more Flarlick, because we can't really finish area one yet, but that's okay. But we'll be back, we'll be back next time for more. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 4. If you enjoyed this video, if you could like, comment, subscribe, check out YouTube Shorts, and I'll see you next time for more Pikmin shenanigans. Uh, bye!